Today we are joined by um, two scientists from CMAP, Julie and Helene. And um, Julie is a professor and climate scientist at Monash University in Australia. She works with climate models to understand mechanisms of climate variability and extremes in observed and future climates. And she's currently a core member of the CMAP panel. Similarly, Helene is an ocean scientist and works um, with uh, modeling of ocean and ice and model evaluation. And uh, she's a CMIP panel co-chair, so we're very happy that you were able to join us today and agree to chair the session and present the presentation for us. That much for the introduction and over to you. Um, okay, so uh, thank you um, for for that, uh, Rika. Uh, it's it's great for CMIP to be able to be here with uh, both Julie and I from the CMIP panel uh, to chair this this seminar. We've uh, we've uh, been uh, strongly supportive of Climate Match Academy in its journey, so it's uh, so great to to see what's um, coming out of the Impact Scholars program. So without uh, further ado, um, our chairs today are, are coming from, uh, from CMIP, which is the Coupled Model Intercomparison Program, which is the organization that um, provides the foundation or the scientific foundation for the IPCC report. So we have, um, oh, I, what I did not do is, is leave the, sorry, is, um, is have the, um, the bios open. So I will do that in a minute. But um, we have uh, a Birgit Hassler and Robert Pinkis. And um, I'm very sorry to do this this way. Let me pull this out. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so um, Dr. Robert Pincus is a researcher professor at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty uh, Earth in, uh, Observatory. Um, and uh, he's interested in how radiation and especially its interaction with water vapor and clouds affect climate through the large scale energy balance and small scale flows. Um, Robert is also affiliated with LEAP, um, which is all the, the sponsor of the session um, tomorrow. So that could be something that uh, could be discussed as well as his involvement in um, CMIP. Um, Dr. Birgit Hassler, um, after finishing her degree in hydrology in Germany, um, Birgit worked on the detection of global stratospheric ozone trends based on observations for her PhD. For this, she worked in New Zealand for two years before finishing her thesis in Germany. Um, and defending um, it in uh, the Ludwig Maximilians University in Munich, Germany. She then worked as a postdoc at NOAA in Boulder, the United States, uh, for almost seven years, st still analyzing stratospheric ozone data in all forms and flavors before she came back to Germany and started working at the German Aerospace Center. I'm sorry, I cannot um, pronounce it. Maybe Birgit can help me. Um, in Oberpfaffenhofen. It's close to Munich. That's fine. Close to Munich is all you need. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would have just made a mess of that. Um, close to Munich. At this point in her career, she started shifting her focus to climate model evaluation. And since uh, 2021, she is the co PI of the open software ECM Val tool, which is used for Earth system model evaluation. It's a really incredible tool. I've seen it um, work. And since 2023, is the co lead of the CMIP model benchmarking task team. So we are very, very excited to have you both here today. Um, and uh, without further ado, I'll uh, let you take over and introduce um, our first uh, presenters of the day. All right. Um, and then we are lucky to have two chairs from CMIP today. Um, so we are joined by Dr. Dr. Douglas Rao. Um, Douglas is a research scientist in North Carolina State University affiliated with NOAA National Centers for Environmental Information. Uh, his research focuses on the stewardship and application of long-term satellite data records for climate applications. Um, and he is also a co-chair for the Fresh Eyes on CMIP Steering Committee. Um, in addition, Douglas was one of our founding uh, chairs last year for Climate Match Academy, so did a ton of work in our first year of the course. 
Uh, we are also joined by Dr. Isla Simpson. Um, Isla is a climate scientist in the climate and global dynamics at the National Center of Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. She got her PhD from Imperial College London and did their postdoc position at the University of Toronto and Lamont Doty Earth Observatory uh, before joining NCAR in 2015. Her research focuses on climate variability and change with a focus on large scale atmospheric dynamics and hydroclimate. Um, in particular, she focuses on assessing the representation of these aspects in Earth systems models. She currently co-leads the Strategic Assembly Design Task Team of CMIP-7. Uh, so we're extremely privileged to have both of you here, and thanks for helping um, kind of guide us through our, um, our presentations today. So I will go ahead and stop sharing and then uh, turn it over to both of you. Now, it's a great pleasure to introduce uh, this session's um, chairs. Um, we have two scientists join us from LEAP today. LEAP is the Learning the Earth with Artificial Intelligence and Physics um, program. Uh, I believe it's housed at Columbia University and part uh, funded by the National Science Foundation in the US. Um, and LEAP's primary research strategy is to improve near-term climate projections by merging physical modeling with machine learning across a continuum from expertise in climate science and climate modeling to cutting edge machine learning techniques. So pretty, pretty central to what we do at Climate Match as well. Um, our first chair is gonna be Julius Bosecki. Julius is a senior research associate at the Lamont Dorothy Earth Observation Center um, at Columbia University. He's a physical oceanographer focusing on the role of ocean transport and various aspects of variability in the coupled Earth system. He also manages the data and computing uh, core at LEAP uh, and serves as a community, a community champion to maintain improved cloud-based open resource workflow for students and researchers. He also contributes to Pangeo Open Source Python software stack, which we, who we also collaborate with, and is actively developing tools and data repositories to rapidly analyze uh, petabyte-scale data sets like CMIP6. Um, our second chair is Kea Heimdall. Uh, she received her PhD in 2018 from the University of Oslo with a focus on paleoclimate and the long-term carbon cycle. She's now an associate research scientist at Columbia University and studies the carbon cycle, uh, the ocean carbon uptake by combining observations or system models and machine learning. And now without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to our chairs um, who can introduce our first group. <laughs> 